Music has the hidden power to affect our minds, our bodies, our thoughts and our society. When that music is based upon the tuning standard, purposely removed from the natural harmonics found in the sacred numbers and the Fibonacci series of nature, the result may be the psychic poisoning of the mass mind of humanity. Although I was aware of the rumors, I was not well acquainted with the 432 theory. Anyway, not until I noticed how many comments in my do we all tune our guitars wrong video were about that topic. So I decided to dive into the topic some more and what I found out was shocking to say the least. So to start at the beginning, the frequency of 440 Hz is the A above middle C and nowadays serves as a tuning standard for musical pitch. Hertz is a unit meaning per second, so it refers to 440 vibrations in one second. Until the 19th century there was no coordinated effort to standardize the pitch and all the levels varied widely. Different countries tuned differently and it even varied from city to city. Until the 1500s the A was somewhere between 400 and 500 Hertz. In the era of Bach the A was tuned to 4 and 15 Hertz. So at this day quite a few musicians performing Bach or other Baroque music are tuning to A is 415, which is one semitone lower than what we use nowadays. During the classical period, the pitch was raised to 430, very close to 432. For example, a lot of Mozart's work is being performed in 432, and he was a Freemason. Just do the math. With the world getting more mobile and technology was evolving, everyone felt the need to settle on a standard pitch. In 1859, the French government passed a law which set the A at 435. This was the first attempt to standardize pitch at such scale. It became quite a popular pitch standard outside France as well. Around 1900 there was a British attempt for fixing the A at 439. And in the 1930s the broadcasting industry made a push towards the total standardization of A at 440. In Europe and in North America. Success was achieved in 1939 at an international conference in London. They recommended that the A above middle C was set at 440 Hz, now known as concert pitch. Whilst researching this I found two main differences in schools of thought, the pro 432 movement and the anti 440 movement. On one side there is belief among some that 432 is more in harmony with the universe. When playing 432 the C is close to 256 frequency very connected to 8 Hz, which is called the heartbeat of the earth, better known as Schumann resonance. There are peaks in extremely low frequency of the electromagnetic field of the earth and resonate roughly at 7.83 Hz. Also it's said that 432 resonates with the universe golden mean 5 and unifies the properties of light, time, space, matter, gravity and magnetism with biology, the DNA code and consciousness. Studies have shown that 432 musical therapy helps ease anxiety, bring down heart rate and blood pressure and generally has a soothing effect. Also 432 has a very positive effect on the third eye chakra and even can heal DNA. Probably true. The other side is pretty dark and covered up with some Illuminati conspiracy thoughts. Having read it a lot I can summarize it as follows. The Nazis had their say in the matter, of course. Joseph Goebbels, Hitler's propaganda man, supposedly pushed the internationalization of 440 in 1939 to untuned people and cloud their intuition. If you dig deeper you find out that Illuminati is probably involved as well. They supposedly sponsored Goebbels to promote the adoption of 440 standard. The Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, everyone is involved. But I'm still a bit skeptic. The problem I got with it is this. It is all measured on the basis of a second Hertz. What's so special about a second? A second is not something defined. It is something we all decided to use as a standard system to define time. And it all dates back to the Babylonians who used the sexagesimal system counting to 60s. The use of 12 subdivisions for day and night, 60 for hours and minutes, turns out to be more useful than tens and hundreds. So we use seconds because it comes in handy. Not because there is something universally connected to the time it takes for one second to pass. Ok now it's time for some music. I'm playing songs in different keys because it's very well possible that one different song can sound better if we tune down slightly or tuned up. But without any bias from me I'm very excited what you think sounds better. It may sound awkward changing back and forth between 432 and 440 but if it's really true that 432 resonates with the universe and heals DNA then I'm sure it won't be a problem.
A final word. I personally believe that changing to 432 doesn't let a different part of the universe vibrate. First, hertz. It's all based on seconds, which is so arbitrary. Second, playing in a different key would make the 432 frequency pretty irrelevant. When you play in B, C sharp or G sharp, the 432 frequency isn't that present at all. There wouldn't be much left of the 256 Hz, the heartbeat of the earth. And third, when playing an instrument you never hear one frequency resonating. It's always a peak of multiple frequencies. Here's the peak of A at 432. And this is the one at 440. So if you play an A at 432, you see that the levels at 440 are pretty high as well. The 440 note shows high levels of the 432 as well. Of course the 432 is more prominent, but considering there's an entire band or orchestra playing, the entire spectrum is gonna be pretty filled up. Let's take a look of the waveform of this so-called 432 Hertz DNA healing chakra cleansing meditation relaxing music. You see the peaks, they aren't even around 432 or 256. But for me it's hard to believe all the wondrous powers given to 432 or any other tuning standard for that matter. It all comes down to what you play and how it sounds. All the best, this was Paul Davids. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. I recently started Patreon because I want to keep the quality of my videos as high as possible. So please check it out. Anything helps. I'm very grateful to everyone supporting me already. Thank you. And have a nice day. Goodbye.